this video, I'm going to show you 48 of the very best examples of pareidolia. Pareidolia is the tendency in humans to see meanings and purpose in something when there's none there. We impose a meaningful interpretation onto something. It's a type of apophnia. That's where we see meaningful connections between unrelated things. Another example of apophnia is the gambler's fallacy. Choosing heads on a coin toss just because five tails in a row have been called. It makes no sense but we do it anyway. The most stark realisation of pareidolia is seeing faces and things. But sometimes we see objects and animals as well in the unlikeliest of places and it happens fast. We can see a face and we can even gauge the mood of the face that our brain has just made up. You don't need to do any work here. You don't need to go through a thought process to imagine a face. You experience a very early and speedy automatic process. Cognitive processes swing into action with the slightest of face-like objects. These processes alert you to the identity and the mood of the face, even before your conscious mind computes it. It could be in a brick wall, a puddle, a cloud formation, or just unusual lighting. Studies have been done on pareidolia, trying to understand how we can see faces in random images and scenes, easily and with zero effort. It's now thought that we've evolved to process faces and the emotions behind them at lightning speed. Imagine living hundreds of thousands of years ago and coming across a threatening person, but had to spend minutes mulling over whether they're friendly or not. Well, that could be the end of you and you wouldn't get a chance to pass on your genes. People who are faster at gauging the mood of others had an advantage and they were more likely to survive. They could flee and take themselves out of harm's way and then go on to reproduce. Researchers have theorized that it's natural selection at play. Maybe that's why we We've all become world-class experts in faces and mood recognition. There's a part of our brain dedicated to it and it's highly tuned. It's called the fusiform face area. It activates at astonishing speed if you see a face. It also activates at almost the same speed if we see something that's perceived as a face. In pareidolia, it seems that this area of our brain just gets a little bit overexcitable. It can mistakenly interpret something with face-like qualities as an actual face. If you subject a person with images of faces and then give them an MRI scan, this area of the brain lights up. It's the part of the human visualization system that specializes in facial recognition. Pareidolia is facial recognition in faceless objects. Your brain has given you fast track information on mood and threat levels. Let's prime our fusiform face area for some action as we look for 48 faces and things. Start off gently. My threat levels are pretty low with this little fella. Well, that's just about the cutest fire hydrant I've ever seen. Hmm, not sure about this fence post. I'm gonna give him a wide berth. What a friendly house. Well, you just couldn't eat that little fella in the middle, could you? This is the rocks of Dwerger in Goza, Malta. It looks like he's in party mood to me. These are 50 foot high rocks in Staffordshire, England. This cup of coffee has messed up and he knows it. I really feel like I shouldn't see a face on this one, but here we are. I think he just wants to be loved. Looks like he's out of breath, or maybe it's a hot day. Finally, a cute pussycat. This house does seem rather shifty to me. I'll have to keep my eye on him. Poor fella looks terrified. Breathe, come on, we can get through this. I think it's 
the dangly zip that makes all the difference on this one. Now that's an Austin Healy with character. Is it just me or is this the first female we've seen? Most people categorise faces and things as male. We're not sure why. Well, you just couldn't throw this rubbish out, now could you? I feel like he's smiling through adversity. Life's delivered some blows for him. He's had a shock, hasn't he? Breathe, come on, everything's gonna be fine. like Dirty Harry. And what you're thinking, punk? Do I like this video? Or like and subscribe? Go on, make my day. Oh, this little fella just needs some TLC. This rock should not work, but it does. He just wants a good home. this wall's pain, I really do. This is exactly how I look first thing in the morning. Oh, he's even got a little goatee look. This little tree stump isn't letting setbacks get him down. This little sponge cake is just happy to be part of your day. I don't trust his face. He looks rather vacant, doesn't he? This is a meteorite crater in Russia. Imagine all the destruction and devastation, but he's smiling through it. A Dutch electrical socket, always happy to power your appliances. Now you couldn't eat him, could you? He looks like he's been through a lot. I feel like this barn door is surprised to see me. Please allow me just 15 seconds to plug this channel. Very Nearly Interesting is a brand new channel and I need all the help I can get. Please hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. That's how YouTube knows you like it and they'll show it to more people. And please consider subscribing. That way we might see you again. Well, that's a sad rock. Nothing's gone right for him. Just nothing. Well, that street sign is just terrified. I wonder if this clock just looks like this in the mornings. I'm going to say that his bark is worse than his bite. He's not all bad, you've just got to get to know him. That's sinister. I don't like the crowd we're mixing in now. Oh, he's just waiting for me, ready to pounce. I'm off. It's like he's been chopped down and the entire experience is etched on his face. Ah! A terrifying ghoul. I wasn't ready for that.
I wouldn't trust this rock face as far as I could throw him. He's too sneaky. Oh, this, oh, this video's taken a scary turn now. Another sad alarm clock. Ah, it's a Mercedes Benz wheel. You are not my father. fair, if I was a toilet, I'd probably look like this as well. This one's beyond bead leaf. He seems such a wrong one, doesn't he? Well, this one's upset me. Have you ever seen such a sad sight? After I'd finished editing the faces section, I saw faces in absolutely everything. Please let me know if that happened to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button. That way YouTube will show it to more people. And please consider subscribing. That way I might see you again. And please have a look at some of the other content on the channel. There's lots of interesting things on there. Well, very nearly interesting.